Hey guys, Sean with Long Long Honeymoon here. In this video, we're going to answer some very frequently asked questions like, hey, how's that fancy ceramic coating holding up for you guys? And do you still love it? Well, behind me you see our almost 20 year old Airstream travel trailer. And yes, it is equipped with that fancy Operation RV Nano Shield ceramic glass coating. And yes, the coating is holding up great. Overall, we absolutely love the coating. Uh, if you've seen our previous videos, we've talked about this special formula ceramic coating that was developed out in the lovely land of California by our dear friends, Vinny and Brian. Not only is that ceramic coating a permanent coating, you literally have to sand the coating to get it off the metal. We don't have to worry about filiform corrosion anymore. Our production model year of Airstream, there were a lot of issues, a lot of problems with filiform corrosion. It's that little worm-like corrosion that happens to aluminum. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. But the second benefit of having the ceramic coating is the ease of cleanup because once you have the ceramic glass applied, any kind of impurity comes off so much easier. Tree sap, bird poop, or just dust and dirt, everything kind of glides right off the ceramic. So we arrived with a freshly clean travel trailer that my lovely wife did all that hard work on yesterday and the birds have greeted us. It took no longer than 24 hours <laughs> for a local feathered friend to leave a little commentary and now look how easily the bird poopage is coming off nice now the trailer doesn't wash itself you still have to put a little bit of elbow grease into it. Well, it's certainly easier than it used to be. I mean, if there's any sort of bird droppings or sap or anything like that, you know, you can just wipe it off with a wet cloth. No problem, no scrubbing, nothing like that required. And then as far as, you know, washing it in general, I mean, it's just kind of like an easy swipe with the, you know, microfiber mitt with some soap on it. And that pretty much gets everything off and then you're just rinsing it, so. In this video, we have a special treat. Brian Bow of Master Paint Guard is going to teach us all some better techniques of how to clean our RVs and travel trailers. So one of the things I want to review a little bit is preventative maintenance and cleaning of your ceramic glass trailer. Uh, this actually applies to any, your trailer, your motorhome, even your vehicles. Uh, Every customer that we have, we go through this meticulously on how long does the coatings last, how do we clean it. Uh, most of us are guilty of actually cleaning our surfaces incorrectly. I'm totally guilty of it, um, although I've changed my method since we've been doing the ceramic glass co coatings for many, many years. So one of the biggest threats to your surface, again, whether it's ceramic glass or not, is abrasion. Now, I tell customers, are you going to go wash your vehicle with sandpaper or are you going to go wash your airstream with sandpaper well everyone says no they wouldn't do that um, what's a what's sandpaper on a surface it's a, it's a it's an extreme form of abrasion what happens when you rub that on the surface you're actually removing removing micron layers of the surface so for example if we glass your trailer and you're using some sort of form of abrasion uh, which is a, which is like a dirt for example that's going to wear down your surface you can take a windshield of your vehicle for example and what is what is your windshield it's thick hard glass uh, if you have a bunch of dirt on that surface and you actually just dry rub it for example what are you doing you're rubbing that dirt into the surface and regardless of how hard regardless how thick that glass is you can actually start marring it and scratching it and every mar and every scratch is removing the micron layers of that surface so the same thing applies when we specifically talk about air streams as you see and if you come over here i want to show a little form of what, what you can see with, with abrasion. So this is a good example. If you can see the sunlight, you can see scratch marks everywhere. Well, the customer obviously did not uh, rub dirt into this, but they went to wash their Airstream and you can see 
the white marks, the, the motion marks, the scrub marks where they're washing it and they're scratching the surface of their airstream. And what they're doing is removing micron layers of that surface, which is over time going to reduce and eliminate that. So. One of the things we're going to talk about is when you're uh, cleaning your surface, it's just some simple, very simple uh, key points. So one, never wash your Airstream or your vehicle or your surface when it's really hot out and the sun is competing with you. So you're competing with evaporation, which also increases friction on your surface, which can increase scratching and marring. Uh, another thing you want to uh, factor in is that in the heat, these are aluminum panels, they get hot. What happens when things get hot? in general you get the molecule the molecules are speeding up and they're moving quicker and they're more malleable so you can you can compromise any surface again this is applicable to your vehicles as well as your airstreams whether something is ceramic glass or not um, so what you want to do you know find an environment where it's cool uh, you're not competing with heat and sun and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a high pressure whether it's a pressure washer or a hose and you're just going to spray the whole thing down completely and get all the loose dirt off. Once all that loose dirt is off, then you can proceed to the next step. What we typically ren re recommend uh, customers using is you get a full bucket of water, right? And put some sort of RV soap in there. You can even use an auto soap in there as well. I like to add more soap than I typically or typically that's recommended. Why? More lubrication. So if there's any remaining particles of dirt on there, when I'm actually washing the surface of the Airstream or the trailer the, or the motorhome, I'm reducing the chances of uh, of taking that dirt and rubbing it into the surface, causing marring and scratching and premature wear and tear of it. So what I do is even take it a step further. So we've all done this thing where we wash a car, we start out with a nice clean bucket of soapy water and we work around and we get to the final stages of it. And then what color is our soapy water? It's not clear and clean anymore. It's actually murky and dark and dirty. What, what have you done the whole time as you wash that surface of your motorhome or recreational vehicle or trailer is you're accumulating the dirt, recycling it back in your soapy water, and then you keep going back on and you're applying applying it on there and you keep rubbing more and more dirt back onto the surface what are you doing you're not getting sandpaper on the surface but you're doing what's called the form of wet sanding you're actually rubbing dirt back into the surface dirt is rocks sand small particles that cause abrasion so there is a little tedious way of doing it. It might add a couple minutes to your washing process, um, but it'll save you a ton of you know premature wear and tear on what you're washing. And typically what, what we do for now is we'll get a bucket of soapy water. We do not use the brushes uh, that you typically find. Not to say that the brushes aren't soft, but the brushes have no pores to capture the dirt. So as you're rubbing, and cleaning any remaining dirt after you've pressure washed or hosed it off, it, you're rubbing the dirt around to loosen it up further so then you can rinse it off and get it off the surface. Well, those things are rubbing that in the surface so you're increasing your chances of causing abrasion. What we typically like to do is use what are called microfiber pads. So here is a, a microfiber wash pad and they're great because you know they're like little sea urchins with little tentacles and they have all these little fibers in it and it helps capture dirt so again you're trying to remove all the dirt off before you need to do any slight agitation to the surface of what you're washing but the nice thing about these things as you start washing on the surface what you're doing instead of the typical brushes these these microfibers are capturing those remaining dirt particles and as you rub it they captured into the part into the in the, the fibers and whatnot and it reduced the chance of you actually recycling and rubbing that dirt back into the surface now here's the key i mentioned uh the dirty bucket of water that keeps accumulating dirt as you wash it and you keep washing the surface dip it in your soapy water wash the surface back in your soapy water well, what we do, you know, it's again, it might add a couple of minutes to your washing process is wash a surface, a section of your, of your surface. Then I'll keep the, I'll keep a nozzle close by. And what I'll do is I'll just spray down the pad real quick. So any remaining dirt that's on here, I'll wash it off, clean it off real quick. And then I'll dip it into my soapy water, wash another section, spray it off a little bit and 
I do that around the whole entire surface. And by the end of the, the washing, as I look at my, my soapy water, I still have clean soapy water. What did I eliminate? I eliminated recycling the dirt that's on the surface back into my washing process and cause abrasion, which we saw over here on this beautiful Airstream that has tons of scratches and mars on it, specifically from actually rubbing dirt back into the surface. So when we clean up our trailer this year, we did a little bit of what we traditionally do. That involves a pressure washer. We, we typically pressure wash our trailer at least once a year, maybe twice a year. But this year we also used the two bucket approach. We have one bucket for soapy water and another bucket to cleanse the dirty pad. We used a, a soft microfiber pad. So hopefully we were imparting fewer impurities back onto the trailer. Of course, best of all, my wife did all of the scrubbing and hard work because she still hasn't learned how to fly a drone. So that's a little pro tip. Guys, you learn how to fly the drone and then your wife has to clean the travel trailer. Now, overall, I really love the ceramic and I believe that once you have one vehicle coated with this ceramic glass, you're gonna want all your vehicles coated with ceramic because you'll absolutely love not only the way it looks, but also the ease of cleaning. Chime in, post a comment. If you have had your travel trailer or motorhome ceramic coated by Vinny and Brian, let us know how it's worked out for you. You know, I've heard nothing but glowing reports from most owners who've gotten their rigs covered with ceramic. So let us know your real world report. We'll be scanning the comments to hear your feedback. Look at our little sunbather over here. Oh. You the best, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs>